Good morning. Lovely to be with you again. I am Sylvia from Holy Trinity and St Michael's. The reading I want to concentrate on today is Psalm 65, which describes the power and majesty of God to whom all praise should be offered. So here we go on Psalm 65. Praise awaits you, our God, in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer, to you all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those who you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God our Saviour, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it, you enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with corn. So for, for so you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty and your carts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks and the valleys are mantled with corn. They shout for joy and sing. The psalmist wants to praise God, not just for answered prayer. Not just for God's forgiveness for his people, but for God's concern for all of creation. He speaks of the whole earth being filled with awe because of the vastness and beauty of what God has formed and sustained. Not only does God create everything at the beginning of time, he also sustains it, providing water for the land and calming the storms at sea. He brings food for all and the whole of creation sings for joy. It is wonderful to realise that God not only rules over the greatness of creation, the universe, the stars and planets, but over each blade of grass, each lamb born in the field. He is concerned for every aspect of the work of his hand, that it flourishes and grows and continues to be his beautiful creation. This includes us. And because God has given us the ability to use all the things he has made, he expects us to show respect for his creation and use it wisely and with consideration. So often, human concern for themselves has outweighed their duty of care for what God has made. And instead of treating the things of creation as belonging to God, they claim ownership and the right to exploit. The indigenous peoples of both North America and Australia and other places have kept their rightful places in God's creation, mindful that they do not own the land, they only borrow it for the time they have on earth, treating it with respect and care because they know that it isn't theirs. The Sami people of the Arctic have such respect for their reindeer herds that when they decide to kill one, they ensure that every bit of the reindeer is used. To throw some away would show disrespect to the creature. How much do we waste and throw away of the goods and food that we consume? If humanity as a whole remembered that creation belonged to God, not to the human race, then they would no longer exploit and destroy 
they would preserve and strengthen. Forests and wildernesses would be protected. Animals would be treated with kindness. Water would be freely shared. The produce of the seas would be used sustainably. The extraction of valuable stuff from the earth wouldn't be allowed to pollute the surface. And I could go on to so many more examples. And all it takes is for mankind to remember that it all, every bit of it, belongs to God, not to us. From this thought comes the realisation that everything I have, everything I consider to be my possession, actually really belongs to God and as such should be offered to him for him to distribute as he wants. In practice this means I must be open-handed towards those people that he loves, that are in need. I must be careful not to waste his resources. I must look after all of his property, including my own health. Father God, forgive us when we waste your resources, when we pollute your world. Show us, Lord, how to respect and care for everything that you have made, remembering that we own nothing and that you are Lord of all. Amen. Thank you for being with me this morning. I hope all goes well this week and you keep, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.